Hi there, my name is Michael Bennett, creator of The Wedding Perspective, and this is League Logs. Uh, sort of a vlog while I play League of Legends to kind of catch you guys up. And I know, and I mean this is a, this video is a long time coming because I haven't uh, made anything in several, several, several months. And then before that it was a year gap. Um, and that's what we're gonna kind of talk about we got mc chris in the background because just no music was kind of freaking me out when i was playing before so if you like that mc chris put in our thumbs up down in the chat so yeah so i haven't done anything in a really long time and that's a lot a lot of that has to do with the fact that i've been playing a shitload of league of legends i'm sure some of you guys have had video game addictions of one type or another and League, sort of the game that I've uh, really devoted a lot of time and effort to. But it's kind of like anything, you have to put 10,000 hours into anything to get good at it. And I insist on being good at this, so. We got an invade. Fuck this shit. Dumb. Alright, at any rate, that was stupid. So yeah, I've been playing a shitload of League of Legends in the downtime. I had a part-time job in Michigan, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, I have notes. So this uh, League Log thing is not a Phil Bunny thing. That's not to say I'm not going to do any Phil Bunny stuff. Uh, I have an idea about that. But the main reason I haven't done anything in a while is my brother got married in September. He was the... He literally owns the camera. And... Uh, Honestly, I just, I don't know, I just didn't have a lot of uh, desire to make anything without a, a legit camera, or I couldn't think of any good things to do with a camera, or without a camera, and um, I tried, like, I wanted to make videos like this, but uh, I also didn't have my Mac set up. Um, but all of those things have changed, because this is the thing, if I were to just play a game for like 40 minutes and put that on YouTube, not so much fun. I gotta edit this stuff because holy crap, I, there's points where I just don't talk. So I haven't made anything even though I've been wanting to uh, for a while uh, for a lot of reasons. Work also got to me and honestly I got really burnt out on the whole trying to be internet famous. Um, which I very much had been trying to do. I don't know if... Uh, other people are willing to admit to themselves that that's the whole point, but for me the whole point was to get internet famous. Now, I don't know, I miss you guys, and uh, but yeah, but that's not the only thing I'm going to do, because I know League of Legends is, uh, well, it's the most popular game in the world. I don't know what I'm making excuses for. This game is great. I invite you to try it out if you like strategy games. Um, if you like uh, team games, and especially if you like really, really mean-spirited, shitty people, <laughs> definitely get into League. But actually, more importantly, is I want a team. <laughs> I'm sick of playing with randos. I want, even if I gotta train the team myself, you know, uh, I don't care if we're bad news bears. Uh, at any rate, more on that kind of, uh, that's for a totally different League log. This guy thinks he's gonna get in the way with the Scott for Oh no, I'm afraid not, my friend. Yeah, come jump at me. Bitch. So let's talk about where I've been. Um, before... Uh, okay, so let's say there's a period of time um, when I wasn't making videos at all. And uh, you probably remember that period of time. It, it was like a year. The main reason I haven't uh, wasn't making videos is I was honestly just really depressed. Um, I got fired from Che Apocalypse, run by the Nostalgia Chick, aka Lindsay Ellis. Um, they fired me, I took that really hard, but I was already depressed before that. If you really feel like, if you really need evidence of my depression, um, go ahead and read any of my Twitter posts, any of the period of time around then. Missed me. Shit. Oh, 
Oh, well. Yeah, so Con Bravo's around then is when I got fired, which would have been July two years ago. So we're going on two years of me not. And honestly, none of those guys talk to me anymore. Kyle doesn't talk to me. Like, me and Kyle, I thought we're friends. We aren't. I'm not saying all these things for you to think any differently about these people. I mean, I would argue that Lindsay's doing fine things for whatever. I just... I personally don't like her, obviously. So at any rate, so the firing was really hard, and then um, Juwario killed himself. That wasn't, that didn't help things in any way. Also, during this depression period, I was uh, collecting board games. I have a ton of board games. I love board games. I would be playing board games right now if I had a a really convenient outlet for them, but I just don't, and I haven't. And here's the thing. When you're dumping hundreds of dollars on a hobby and you can't do anything with it, that kind of wears you down. And it turns out that I really, really needed gaming competition in my life. I used to play uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, casual, like, legacy. We're like a big table of nerds playing Magic the Gathering. And I really underestimated how important that was to me when I was in college. Also, uh, during this depression period, I was eating tons of candy. I was eating candy to a ridiculous degree. This fucking guy. So anyway, I've been missing out on this competition, and I've been missing out on a, just a hobby that I can be into. So, right around the time I quit eating sugar, um, I started playing a game called Hearthstone, and you probably heard about that if you watch my show or whatever, because I uh, did a whole Bunny Perspective episode on it. Again, I'm coming from a Magic the Gathering background, and for, for a while there, Hearthstone kind of replaced Magic for me. Until I realized it didn't, it's just not complicated enough. Like there's not enough that you can kind of change your play style. Um, and that may seem fiddly, but I, again, I played like Legacy Magic the Gathering, which is where there's no card restrictions. It's like every card that's ever existed for 25 years. That allows you to have a huge variety of play styles. Uh, at this time, I'm playing uh, Hearthstone. So this is, I don't know, a year ago, May. Um, must have been around May that I was playing Le or, uh, Hearthstone. And it just wasn't complicated enough. And at the same time, um, I was playing Diablo 3. Uh, on PlayStation, and I was looking for something I could play on my Macintosh, because at the time I still only had the Mac, and uh, right now I'm on a PC. Uh, so I had the Mac, and uh, I uh, wanted something I could play that was comparable, and uh, I had heard about League of Legends, and I knew it was free to play. I think that was all I knew about it, and I had a friend that played it, and I'm like, is it anything like... Uh, Diablo and I'm like and he's like no and I'm like okay well whatever I'll play it anyway I started playing League and I've been addicted ever since I people uh, people really want like different I don't know variety of maps and things like that in their video games I want the same thing that I can play differently so currently I have nearly every champ I'm missing like 20 champs and I have I think more skins than I have champs Jesus Christ. So quitting sugar was a really big part of why I stopped, why my depression eased a lot. This got, this got intense all of a sudden. I was working at Salvation Army, which you would think would be super rewarding and make you feel good about humanity for all their and I actually took donations like that was my job and uh, no not so much uh, I learned that my hometown uh, uses the Salvation Army as basically in a glorified garbage dump I, I basically learned the the how bad humanity can be from the Salvation Army shit
Well, I killed one guy. And yeah, I mean, like, uh, I actually miss doing it. I'm trying to find a job down here that's similar, and uh, it's kind of frustrating how I'm not finding that yet. Basically, this Salvation Army job I had did two things for me. It got me enough money to start collecting skins in League. Basically, it let me play League as much as I wanted to. Um, and, you know, still fund me and everything. And, uh... That's just super important. Like, I guess I did freelance for just a lot longer than I probably... I don't know. Freelance, it, there's, there's something about trying to be an artist and just being totally frustrated with not making money as an artist and like letting that go for a while was oddly freeing. Don't get me wrong, this making this video at all is, a, is basically saying I'm interested in getting back into, you know, Shadows. making money uh, artistically. I, I consider all this Let's play stuff very artistic. I don't know if that. How worried I should be right now. I don't. I'm seeing Rengar in my mini map in a minute. Or is he dead? No, he's not dead. Uh, doing the Salvation Army. I think. I think I can. I. I actually want to tell you guys stories specifically to the Salvation Army, but uh, that'll be another league video. Um, Got to save some stuff for other things. I'm in Duskaloosa right now, and I don't know if this game's wrapping up or not. We'll do some. Towards the end of the game, we'll talk about my strategy as uh, as Evelyn and why I like playing Evelyn specifically. We'll do that at the end, but for right now, we'll talk about uh, um, what the what's going on with the Bunny Perspective. So I have an idea for a show called the Bunny. Per this is the first show I've wanted to do League Logs for a while now. Basically, League Logs is just what I said. It's me talking real life while I play League of Legends, and it's um. Basically, an effort to me, an effort for me to learn how to talk and play a, a very deep video game at the same time. You know, it's every, like everything. It takes ten thousand hours to learn a new skill, and talking and playing complicated video games is a skill. So the the League Logs is one show. The other show is what I'm calling the Bunny Perspective Plays. But yeah, League Logs and then the Bunny Perspective plays where it's uh, Phil Bunny playing um, video games. And uh, the way I can make that work is honestly because I have the webcam and, it, and if you watch Markiplier or these other guys, it's usually a very small camera in the corner of the screen. And um, I've already had, I've already been um, experimenting with the idea of uh, making um, doing the puppeteering slightly differently than normal. The Body Perspective Plays should come out soonish. Um, like I said, I want to get back into doing this stuff. I actually miss doing puppeteering things. Um, Heather, my girlfriend who I live with, is really interested in me doing some puppeteering stuff again. And, um... And, yeah. That's right. Thanks for tuning in and uh, watching this video thus far. And uh, for the rest of this uh, game, I'm going to discuss Evelyn specifically. If you're into League and you want to know why I'm doing what I'm doing, hang out for that. If you are if you want to, I have a Patreon. I'm pretty sure it's linked in the chat, or li linked in the description. Jeez, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, if not, I understand... Um, and uh, I'm only gonna do one of these. Like, I, I, every Buddy Perspective plays is gonna go on the Patreon, but one league log uh, a month probably for Patreon. If you're a Patreon member and you're like, I don't know if I want to fund this specifically, uh, eh, only one of them a month. Motherfucking e -bagging. Please like me on uh, this. If you like this uh, idea, show me in the YouTubes and follow me on the Twitters. 
All of that should be in the annotations now. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Okay, so by now the end theme song should be gone, and we it's back to back to me playing Evelyn. I love uh, I love jungling. Um, I'm actually kind of happy that I got jungle for this particular video because I can kind of just kill monsters while I'm thinking and discussing this stuff. And I've been playing Evelyn for quite a little while. I'm not really gonna explain specific details but if you look there's a little ring around me and that ring around me um when i when it's around me i'm invisible unless i'm in like unless the enemy is in that ring and then they can see me what i don't like about evelyn is none of i have like three of her skins uh none of her skins have any kind of recall animation uh and she's kind of a hangover from the old days of league uh, it'd been nice if she got some kind of update to her thing. She's also like, I don't know, sort of overly chesty for no good reason really. I don't know, like I said, I'm back into the feminist thing and I can make a lot of good arguments why League of Legends is on the higher, uh, like on, more on the moral right. For femininity, like, they have definitely don't just have all slutty characters in League. That said, there's a ton of slutty characters in League. But, I mean, as, aside from, like, aesthetically and all that, her playstyle is actually really cool. Um, I love just wailing on the Q button and the spikes show up. They go towards wherever you're attacking. But I mostly what I love is you can hide in plain sight and kind of like like right now Sejuani kind of looks like she's on her own so they don't necessarily know you're coming and she does she's a what they call a hybrid champ meaning her abilities get better with both magic and physical damage I I love that kind of build idea um, I often don't build exactly the right items for it but um, when I do, basically I just kind of alternate between a physical item, a tank item, and then a, uh, magic item of some kind. But I mean, her attack is really strong. Like, I've been starting to do Iceborne Gauntlet lately on her, and honestly, been working really well. You're fucking dead, bro. Also, what you can do is kind of run away from the enemy, hit, wail on Q the entire time, and just destroy... Her W uh, ability uh, shakes off any slows that might be on your character and you get a little movement speed buff. I love that. It's super helpful, especially against champs like this Ash right here. That's gonna, all she's gonna try to do is slow us down. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Evelyn's fun. Uh, she's a Shadow Isles native. Uh, I love Shadow Isle characters because they're like the spooky undead guys uh, without being like the weird Frankenstein Noxus guys and uh, I would love to see like they did this whole thing with Cassiopeia recently I would love this Halloween they were to clarify Evelyn's backstory a bit and do more with her so hey right, thanks for hanging out for the nerdy I like this champion bit which uh, I would try to include in these league logs especially if you're into league and if you want more um, just talking about league while I play league Put that in the, you know, mention that in the comments below and all that. And uh, thanks again uh, for being patient with me, everybody. And I'll see you next time.